What's going on guys, Honey Glaze here today, and today we're going to be revisiting a certain AR that I did a video on about maybe a, maybe almost a year ago. It's the uh, Velakadin, and uh, honestly this video might be a whole discussion about ARs as a whole when it comes to this season's meta and the current meta in the sandbox when it comes to PvP, how it's affecting everybody, how some people have different opinions of it. Uh, I might show like discuss mine later on in the video, I'm not sure. Just depending on how the video goes, uh, but yeah, today I'm going to show you the load up we're using. Today I'm going to be show using the, uh, the Sivalakadin I just got from the gunsmith today. Uh, I have two barrel options. I have the Hammer Forge Rifling or Polygonal Rifling. I went for Hammer Forge for this one. Uh, I just, you know, I only played one game and that was it. It was pretty much a good recording or if it wasn't good enough, I was just not going to use it. And it was, it was alright. It, was, it wasn't bad. Uh, but I used Hammer Forge Rifling for that increased range. Flared Magwell for, uh, more for a little bit more stability and it increases the reload speed. Dynamic sway reduction, we're holding on the trigger, this weapon's sway reduction to some boost accuracy over time. This is a very big, I want to say, perk for auto rifles in this meta. Uh, I know it's very good in 600s, I don't know how it's on 720s, but I try. I decided to try this one just to see. And then our last perk is obviously the infamous kill clip, reloading after a kill against increased damage. This came with the Ranger Master work, I haven't played, I don't know if I will. Uh, but we got Icarus Grip, really couldn't think of what else to put on this thing besides. This is the Velakadin we got. I also have another Velakadin on my Titan I was using, uh, what I was going to use, but it, I think this one might be a little bit better. Uh, but this is the Velakadin we're using. We're going to be pairing it with our Astral Horizon Shotgun, which is perks. Bull choke, appendage, threat detector, celerity with a range of mass work, free hand grip. Uh, this is the build we're using. Enhanced scatter projectile targeting. Same old fitting aspect. And flame and flame, everything else is the same. And then our hammerhead. Anyway, before I was rudely interrupted, that's the build we're going to be using. This is what we're, uh, the weapons we're going to be using in this video. So let's get on into the gameplay footage. Be warned that I have been taking a break from Destiny uh, because I just haven't been really wanting to play. Everything's been kind of stale this season. I'm glad the season's almost over. We haven't been trying, just been taking a break from Destiny in general. So my aim is a little, I felt a little, a little off put at this game. It was my first Crucible game for a few days, and I've been playing mostly Valorant, uh, and I have. A completely different DPI set setting for that game. Uh, it's much lower than this one. So coming back to this and playing one game of Crucible, it was uh, a little bit, a little bit, but you know we we got used to it as the game went on. But anyway, let's get on to the video and uh, let's talk about the Black the uh, King. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm recording this while I meet him. So fuck it. Um, the black them post AR buff, um, season of the worthy compared to its kind of part back in like season of opulence pre shadow keep. The differences in, in damage and how it performs, uh, up till now, it's it's noticeable, but not by much. The thing, I mean, I understand that like, when it comes to ARs, 600s are the go to. If they're kind of like the 150s of ARs, um, if you use anything other than that, you're kind of putting yourself at a disadvantage. There are some exceptions to that rule, I think. Uh, this Misfit I have, uh, <laughs> which I need to do a video on, it's disgusting. I, I actually like using it. It's really damn good. Uh, I'm not much of an AR guy. I like hand cannons mostly. Every now and then I'll pop out an AR and use it just for lols or if I just want to screw around. Uh, but... Once again, comparing it to it's the pre-buff, uh, pre-shadow keep, um, like I said, noticeable difference, but not much of a difference. I mean, it, it's it's still a decent AR. I mean, you can still do relatively decent with it, but I just feel like I don't think dynamic sway reduction really helped much on this thing. I have a feeling I'm like I'm kind of feeling like dynamic sway is better on 600 RPM auto rifles, to be honest. Because this is the second 720 I've had that had dynamic sway, and I've not seen any like significant help for it when it comes to that perk. So maybe 720s in general don't need it. Uh, 600, I think it's it's especially for random rolled uh, 600 RPMs uh, a must. But honestly, I, it still feels the exact same. Uh, it's decent. It does decent damage. I didn't get to use kill clip very often in this uh, game. But when I did, it still wasn't that much of a noticeable difference. Uh, it, it, it can do work. It can. Uh, it's it's still viable to go. You can still go to and have 
decent games with it. But if you're looking for, like, for a pub stomp AR, AR is just going to destroy people, this is not the one to go to. Uh, I think, once again, Misfit is probably, in my opinion, as of this point, when it comes to me trying ARs since the buff, I think the Misfit is probably the go-to for 720s. I think Misfit is just a phenomenal AR right now. It's in a damn good spot. Uh, See, so yeah, I Misfit 720-wise. It's, it's That's going to be the king to me for 720s. Uh, but like anyone said, decent. It's all right. Not too bad. But not much of a noticeable difference before the buff. Um, that being said, let's get on to... <laughs> Uh, honestly, let, let's talk about, if you hear that right, it's, it's a wrapper, I'm eating uh, a peanut butter, a peanut butter and oats, uh, no, oats and honey, shit, why did I say peanut butter? Oats and honey, a granola bar. Anyway, let's get on to the current meta of this season with just the ARs. Holy shit, man. They're not just ARs, ARs aren't my only problem this season, to be honest. To be honest, another problem I have this season is snipers in general, the flinch. Something's got to be done, dude. Like, and it just... They've ruined almost every Crucible game to me because almost half the team will just sit in the back and hardscope. You'll even see it in this gameplay somewhere. I push the spawn and there's like three hardscoping, dude. Three of them are hardscoping. You'll see some shots where I'm hitting this guy in the head with an AR and he can still quickscope dome me. It's, it's great, man. Sniper flinch is like so fun. Oh my gosh, snipers are just... The, the, it's the flinch it needs looked at. Uh, I'm not complaining about the damage or anything. A sniper should be a one-shot kill. I miss definitely. It's just the flinch. It needs looked at. It needs kind of looked at. You're almost count, you're almost punished if you challenge a sniper anymore. Um, but I'm not gonna go off the handle on sniper. Let's talk about ARs. ARs. There you got you got a split community here. I think half the people think they're all right right now. With the, with the exception to that being hard light, which has been addressed, and hard light is not that much of an issue anymore when compared to other ARs. Suros, you can make a case about, but honestly, I don't think Suros is only dangerous when it's fully spun up, to my opinion. Which, if you're a good player, you're going to be pre firing, pre firing before peaking lanes anyway, so if you're a good player, you can definitely take advantage of it, or even an average player. Um, ARs as a whole, though. Uh, I'm a little bit torn because, once again, I'm not an AR guy. I, I'm not really a big AR fan. I like hand cannons. I love hand cannons. That's usually my main primary go-to is a hand cannon. Um, I can tell you now, I I don't know if you guys remember the, was it the Prophet Prophecy AR from uh, Curse of Osiris? What was it? No Calamity 7? I pulled that out when this season first started and used it. That thing was disgusting. It's just, if you don't believe me, if you got it in your collection, pull it out and try it. Thing's nasty. And it's just a fixed roll. Um, but half the community thinks ARs are fine right now. Since the hard light nerf. The other half of the community is tired of it because it's a spammy meta. It's uh it caters to casuals, whatever. I don't know. Me personally, I'm caught in between because one, I think some ARs are even the six hundred I think some six hundred RPM ARs aren't bad. They're very usable, but they're not like overwhelming another half I, I see some 600 rpm auto rifles and they're a little too easy to use i want to say Soros, but i'm really torn on Soros because i love Soros. um even if i don't use ars very much i just Soros always has that connection to me since day one i just love Soros. uh but it might it's definitely on that list ars i've said it in my problems of crucible video they're a very hard line to walk around uh, you make them too good, it becomes a spam meta because they're an entry-level weapon. Anyone can use them. They're not hard to use. But if you make them too bad, they're never going to be used. Uh, so, ARs are a very tricky uh, weapon to dance around when it comes to balance. Uh, do I think they're in a good spot now? I want to say it's about 60% yes, 40% no. 60% of the auto rifles that, that you're aware of that are they're good, but they're not overwhelming. You can still outgun them. They're not hard. Then you got the other half, the 40% that they're, they're like the fewer ones out of the group that are just a little too damn much. They're hard to counter at the time and they're just too forgiving for how easy they are, they are to use. Uh, Suros could be put in there, I guess you could say. Uh, Summoner's one. Uh, Summoner has leaked high up on the radar since this uh, hard light nerf. Summoner's really damn good right now. But overall, uh, 
I think ARs, I think some of them need to be looked at and toned down a little bit. And the rest you can just leave alone because you don't see them very much anyway. The Galliard, it's a very rare drop. A very rare drop. But I have seen that damn thing in the Crucible. I've seen people use it. I know what it's capable of. It's disgusting. Does it need nerf? Not dramatically. Maybe just a tiny bit because of the rarity of it. It's very rare to get. But, like I said, 60-40. 60% of them are good and they're fine. They're balanced. 40% of them need to be looked at and need to be addressed in a... Not a, a giant nerf way, but like just a small, minute damage nerf. And I think it'd be fun. I don't know that's the video. Hope you guys enjoy it, and I'll see you guys in the next one, whenever that is, because I'm still taking a break from Destiny. I'm just not feeling it. But anyway, I'll see y'all in the next one. Have a nice day.